In response to this viewer question, I'll be showing how to overlay a video onto a photo. Tap video to open a new video project. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see video photo and all. Select photo and select a photo to be used for the background. This one here, just tap on it and tap the check mark. Next, you'll want to select the photo in the timeline and drag it out to its maximum duration, which is 10 seconds. Before you go any further, you need to make sure that you know the exact length of the video clip you plan to place on top of the photo. This will allow you to duplicate the photo as many times as you need to. Since my video is between 15 and 20 seconds long, I'll need about 20 seconds. Then I'll go back to the beginning of the timeline Tap on the picture in picture icon and select my video clip, which will appear in the center of the screen. The first thing I'll do is take two fingers, place them on my screen and pull them apart to enlarge the video. If you tap on the little pencil, you can edit the video. You can play around with animation, the background of the video or the opacity. I'll tap on the check mark because I don't want to do any of those things. You'll want to make sure that your video is in the center of the screen. As you move and reposition your video, you should notice white lines that will appear. These lines will help you determine where the exact center of the screen is. Next, I'll play the video. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. The photo clip is a little bit longer than the video clip. Since I need both clips to end at the same time, so that the video clip does not disappear off the screen before the end of the photo clip, I need to tap on the check mark to go back to the main timeline. Notice the playhead is in the position I need it to be in. I'll tap on split and delete the extra part of the photo. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Once you're satisfied with your clip, tap on the share icon to begin the export. Notice that you have the ability to set the resolution and FPS settings of your output file right on this screen. I'll tap the icon. Since these settings are fine, I'll tap on save and begin the export. Don't interrupt the export in any way. If you do, you'll have to repeat it because the clip may not export properly. The clip has now exported successfully. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. If the picture-in-picture -picture method is not available to you, check out this video on screen now for another way to do this.